Yo, what's good guys, Coach Tech here. So today we got an AIO to review. Now this bad boy over here is from ID Cooling. This is their Zoom Flow 360. This is the 360, this three mil, uh, the 360 millimeter, millimeter, milli, my God, millimeter radiator and a 240mm rad as well. So it comes in two different, um, two different sizes. So I got the 360 version as you guys can see here. Uh, I got the snow edition, so it comes in black and white. The two, I believe, the 240 and the 360. The 360 retails. I got it for 100 bucks. I got 10 dollars off. Basically, retails for 110, and the 240 retails for I want to say like 80 bucks. Really nice. I am feeling the white design. We got advanced pump design, synchronized with motherboard. So this is an ARGB uh, AIO. Very budget size. I'm feeling this. Uh, very bad. We have Aura Sync, uh, Gigabyte Fusion, MSI Mystic Light, Polychrome. Basically supports all the um, mobile manufacturers for ARGB. We have a nice looking presentation, a nice looking box, guys. I'm feeling this, especially for 100 bucks. Right now, you got a Corsair uh, H100i Pro. I mean, that's gonna run you like a buck. Was it like a buck thirty, a buck forty? You know, that's insane. And that's a 240. This is a 360. So this gives you, a, you know, essentially you could put three fans, which is dope. Three 120 fans. Uh, basically specifications, radi uh, the radiation dimensions are here, water, but everything is basically here, speed. So I wanna say this is at 2100. I'm, I'm not sure if th this is PWM or whatnot, but I gotta go through that noise level. Fans including three pieces, dimensions, 120, uh, 120 by 120, basically, uh, see, I'm gonna confuse fan speed, 700 through 1500 RPM. Oh, this is the pump. So the pump speed is 2100. Uh, the fans are PWM between 7 to 1500 RPM, static pressure, all that good stuff is here. This supports all the Intel, uh, basically CPUs. We have LGA 2066 all the way down to 1366. And for AMD, we have the Threadripper TR4 all the way down to AM2, uh, AM2 plus. Anyways, let's get to it. Uh, man, uh, let me, shoot, I forgot my scissors again. But anyways, let's pop this out black box inside this box okay i am feeling this i am feeling this i like how everything is basically you know compartmentalized here we have everything covered yo id cooling did a hell of a job here i gotta say uh so essentially this is the pump i want to say these are the accessories let me just take everything out these are the fans I gotta say these these are probably gonna be some whack fans. It's not like the ID the other ID coolings which I the cooling fans which I reviewed were pretty fire. But anyway, so let's move this here. Let's take this out. Oh, I am feeling this. All right, so quickly let's check what we got. So we got the fans. Like I said, this, these are not the uh, yeah. These are definitely yeah. These are some cheap ass fans, man. These these feels these honestly feel terrible. I know these fans are going to be pretty whack. The other ones that I reviewed, the ID, these are the 120, 25. I think the other ones were 120, 123 or something like that. But anyways, I'm going to have them link in the description below. I think I'll also throw a card up there. Those fans are a lot better. Uh, yeah, they feel pretty whack. I mean, we'll see. We'll test these fans out. We'll see how they are. But anyways, we get the fans as well included uh, for accessories. Let's see what we got in here. So we have the whole ARGB functionality over here. This is the hub essentially to... I want to say to power to, I, I think this is for S, this is for manual. I got to see exactly what it is. But anyways, this is to power up the AIO. And these are the RGB connectors over here. Essentially, you plug this in and then this is a three-way splitter. So essentially, you can uh, synchronize them with all, your, with all your motherboards. Let's pop this out. Okay, so these are all the brackets as an accessories, essentially. So we got thermal paste as well. It comes included here. These are all the sockets over here, essentially, for all the different, um, yeah, so this is for all the different designs. So I believe this is Intel. Uh, I wanna say this is AMD. Maybe this is Threadripper. I haven't seen Threadripper, or maybe this is Threadripper, but I gotta check out in the manual, essentially, and all the accessories and whatnot are here, as I mentioned. Now, let's check out this AI. Oh, man, I am feeling the white. Man, the pump is heavy. Pump looks like it got some work in it. This out here, jeez, got. Right, I just gotta rip here. Yeah, I just got. I gotta rip this plastic. But let's put this down here in the middle. But anyways, warning. All right. Anyway, so no pre-applied thermal paste. I actually do like that sometimes because I rather use your own, use my own thermal paste. But anyways, no pre-applied, so you need thermal paste. Like I said, they bring, they give us thermal paste. 
Here is the SATA cable for the pump, all right, for the AIO, and this is the ARGB functionality over here. So you can split the sig signal to the hub. So essentially, what you're gonna wanna do is this, right, that comes with the hub, you're gonna wanna plug it into here, right? And then I believe you take the splitters, and then from the splitters you could do it, or you plug it in through, so there's, okay, so there's a few ways. You could use it with the ARGB functionality if you want. If not, all you essentially have to do is just plug this in for the SATA, right? I believe to control the ARGB functionality here through the hub. So all your different modes and whatnot like this. If you don't wanna do that, you don't have to plug this in. I believe you plug this in. I don't know, I'm just doing this off the bat guys, but it's a very simple, um, what's this for? I think this is for the, Man. But anyways, let me connect all of this. I am feeling this. I am feeling the white, man. The white looks absolutely beautiful. The radiator, like I said, is a 360 mil rad. Very nice. So it supports three 120 mil fans. We have the ID cooling logo over here and we have an ID cooling logo over here. Like I said, the pump does have some weight. The tubing is white, which I like. But yeah, let me, let me plug this. What's this? Oh, this is some sort of okay. I thought it, I thought mine already came with some a little with a little uh zamage. But anyways, let me plug this into the PC and let's see how it rocks. Yeah, let's go. Actually, before I plug it in, let me just run through everything basically how to install it because you guys might be asking. So, like I said, this is the controller, right? So if you don't want to use the ARGB functionality, if you have a four pin right on your motherboard, if you have an ARGB header and not an ARGB header, and you just don't want to use it, all you have to do is just use this controller. Right, so you're gonna wanna do is just plug it in, like I said earlier, right here, SATA, that's it. That's all you have to do, and then you could control the speeds, and I think this is for the different colors of the pump itself, I believe, through the hub. Definitely through the hub, but I'm not sure exactly what all these functions do as of yet. Now, if you don't wanna do that, if you wanna use the ARGB functionality, right, so then you're gonna take this. You see all the splitters here for three of them, or four of them? What you're gonna wanna do is this end is gonna go into your ARGB three pin in your motherboard, right? So imagine this is plugged in and then the splitters are essentially gonna plug it in into here. Anyways, there you go. So you go in here and then you could plug in, uh, then you could plug in essentially the other fan. So the other three fans, essentially you could plug them in all into here and then you're gonna synchronize, you know, you're gonna synchronize all the colors, right? And that's all you have to do. Now this end, right? This is for the pump. So either you could plug it in into the pump header, right? Or you could plug it in via SATA. I believe this is the way they actually did do it. Or to the uh, CPU header, I believe. Or you could just plug it into SATA. Now, when I plug it in, I'm gonna let you guys know exactly what, what, how to plug in everything, but I'm just doing this straight off the bat here just to show you guys. But anyways, now let's plug everything in to, this, uh, to the test bench, let's go. All right guys, so I got the AIO installed. I have the fans here uh, set up in the front. These are the stock fans, which comes with the AIO. Right now, this is running at silent. I'm controlling the fan speeds via the BIOS. So the fan speed here is around 600. So we got like 680 RPM. Let's just listen to it. They are running whisper quiet. Let's turn it up to standard. So now it's running at around 900 RPM, like around 980 RPM. Still not bad. Of course, you could make custom curves to, you know, to suit your own preference. Uh, let's turn it up to uh, full speed, which should be 1500 RPM. This is on max, 1500 RPM. Right, now they do sound like a lawnmower, honestly guys, when they are uh, set to max RPM, they get very loud as you guys could hear it. Right now it's running around 14, uh, like 14, five, like 1,456. All right, so 1456 is basically where it's at right now. Max, again, I'm going to repeat myself. You could customize this to the custom RPM speeds, but for 1500 RPM, these fans get pretty
pretty loud guys all right guys so i do have the aio installed in all its glory now this is the dlx 21 mesh case i did review this case i'll have it in the description below absolutely fire case all i basically did here i just removed the front mesh of the case just to show you guys essentially the fans now i do have them the fans and the, the basically the aio set up into the rgb functionality so you're going to see it switch uh different colors uh like i did say in the beginning of the video i wouldn't recommend these fans but these are not bad i gotta say i kind of bit my tongue on that saying that these are trash i was actually rocking them they're not bad they feel like trash but overall, they're not bad on the performance. I'm going to show you guys that in a second. If you're just starting off with fans and if you don't want to invest, I guess just keep these fans. But if I was you, if I had some pesos laying around under my mattress, you know, under the couch, you know what I'm saying? Maybe in my piggy bank, I would uh, get the ID cooling ones, which I did review, uh, which I'll have in the description uh, as well below. Those things are absolutely beast. Th those are fantastic. They don't get... Uh, very they get loud but you know they go up to 2100 rpm but at 1500 rpm they don't get so loud as these so if you're gonna rock these just keep in mind you you know you guys are gonna hurt you guys are gonna hear that you know these actually do get pretty loud at 1500 rpm but again not too bad starting off i gotta say not too bad starting off on the starting stages but overall i have it basically set up like this in the front just showing you my orientation guys now i do gotta say the tubing guys uh, again pretty subjective i gotta say in my humble opinion it's pretty long like come on like not too long too long uh reason being is when i actually did review the dlx 21 mesh case you guys definitely check this review i did have the aio up top and the tubing was basically bulging out i didn't like that whatsoever because it was just annoying to close the glass which i mean it did close the glass but minor gripe the tubing is a bit too loud uh also the fan Oh, the fan, the pump is on its max RPM of, uh, what is it, 2100. Every time when you restart the computer, I'm going to try to restart it. Maybe you guys could hear it. I have the lav mic, uh, hopefully not too far from, but it makes this mechanical sound every time when you restart it, you know, which is fine. It, it's not bad. It's not really that noticeable. I mean, if you open the side panel and want to hear it, you'll hear it, but let, let's see if you guys could hear it. Yeah, just made this like a wind up whoop noise but minor minor gripe i gotta say uh at that sense uh, we're gonna go into temps right now i just want to basically cover that uh quickly like i said maybe replace the fans overall i i am feeling it uh, i do have it in the argb setup so you can see the the colors from the pump are matching up with the fans now there's a few ways of connecting of course you have this over here if you don't want to use the argb functionality remember i talked about this uh, controller over here you could use this controller if you don't have a motherboard that supports argb you could go with this route or you could and essentially the pump you could either plug it in i have the pump plugged in into the fan header the cpu fan header, header right there right by the the cpu power uh header over there but you could use this bad boy as well so if you want to connect it directly into the set if you want to say to power it you can via this uh you could say converter thingy magic but anyways let's get into the temps but look if you guys are interested in buying this i gotta say uh pretty fire especially for the price this is for 360 with the temps that it does i am rocking a third the, the ryzen 3600 in there uh probably say you know i wish i had a stronger you know maybe more core cpus in there just to get them more hot but i'll try to do my best with what i have but overall do i recommend this aio Heck yeah, this thing is absolutely a beast. I love it. When you guys are installing the the uh, pump itself, make sure uh, when you when you are plugging it in, and if you do want the light to actually, see how I have the light basically illuminating, make sure it's actually plugged into two things. So either to the controller, right, for the controller to get the light, or to the ARGB header. So if you don't have it plugged into the ARGB, ARGB header, you're not gonna have basically the uh, illuminating light, unfortunately. Now, also another thing I want to get this off my chest before I forget is when you get with the pump, it doesn't have fan splitters, guys. So make sure you have some fan splitters lay laying around the house, uh, or if you have a motherboard that has enough fan headers to basically plug in all these fans. So basically, how I did it, I just used a fan splitter, and essentially, I just plugged everything in. Don't mind the mess, but yeah. Essentially, that's how I did it. I just plugged it in through here and then my my basically they gave us obviously the ARGB splitters, which are right over here, but also the fan splitters are my fan splitters, which I had laying around. So make sure you guys have fan splitters It's going to be a lot easier for you to essentially, you know, do everything 
in this case because without fan splitters it's going to be really really annoying and make sure obviously that you either plug in this controller or when you plug in the AIO uh, make sure you do plug it into the ARGB header so the light becomes illuminating and then you could play with the software i mean with every different motherboard you know software is going to vary but you know with the polychrome it works it just you know has these you know regular ARGB effects you could have rainbow and all that stuff you guys basically already know to just just want to let you guys know before everything up and running now we do have the fans for the AO running at uh, i want to say a standard mode so that's like a thousand rpm uh, plus or minus uh we have the pump of course uh, regular speed at 2000 rpm now the Asia Horse fans themselves, the FS9002 fans, are running at 1500 RPM. I just basically turned them up. Now the fans for, like I said, the fans are not, they're not bad. Uh, I can't hate on the fans saying that they're, you know, absolutely trash. Like I did say when I unboxed them, when the quality is kind of trash on them. But uh, they're doing a pretty good job, man. They're not that loud. But once, like I said, once you guys heard, once you hit 15, forget about them. They get really, really loud. They actually get louder than the Asia Horse fans. But Anyways, we got the system uh, OC2 4.1. We have the temperatures running at 56 Celsius. We had this uh, benchmark now running over over an hour. I did overclock this uh, CPU as, as you know furthest I possibly could. This is a Ryzen 5 3600. Now I did I do wish I had a Ryzen 7, uh, you know, something with more core, something we could just like really, you know, test this uh, AIO to its max. But overall, I gotta say for the price, guys, the AIO. It's fire. It's it's honestly it's honestly a, 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 it's a dope. Uh, this AIO honestly this surprised me. It's absolutely it's absolutely fire. I honestly I do really love it, especially for the price. It's absolutely good. You know, just amazing. Um, the only one thing I gotta say is just again for the fans. You know, if you got some money out there, you know, get the uh, get the other ID cooling fans because those things are absolutely fire, man. But overall, I do gotta say it is it is a beautiful AIO comes in both white and black really fire the tubing though is a bit too long but anyways for the price for hundred dollars around hundred dollars definitely grab it man you guys are absolutely gonna love it uh let me know what you guys think about the AIO in the comments below hop in the discord server if you guys have it basically throw some pictures down you know how we do man uh as always guys i'm coach tech uh, let me know of course uh what you guys think as always guys i'm coach tech i'm gonna catch you guys next time deuces